Hello, Brian McCarthy here from Bonnet Break, and this is an After Effects quick tip to build your own depth of field map, depth map in After Effects. These depth maps are quite good for applying focus to certain footage that is quite busy. You will have seen this technique used in many Vox documentaries and Netflix style documentaries where there's so much information on the screen, but you're trying to get the viewer to kind of focus in on one area um, and it's just a very cool aesthetic as well. So let's get started, create a main comp and in this main comp we're going to pull in this footage that I just got on pixels. We can kind of use this as a perfect example because it's so busy. The next thing we want to do is create another comp, call this your depth comp. So in this comp you want to create a white layer and then you want to create a new shape and let's just put this down the middle. Press Control alt home to center your anchor point and just align this maybe to the center. Okay, brilliant. Um, and change maybe this to your focal underscore area. Uh, press tab and go back into your main comp. And then into your effects, you want to go camera and you'll see camera lens blur, which you want to apply to your footage. And the whole footage is blurred. But if we go to the blur map panel and select your depth map, you can now see that you have this kind of really cool blur effect. The issue is the fall off is really sharp here. Um, so how do we fix this? We go into our depth map and we press Control alt y We have an adjustment layer. We'll call this Blur. I would mess around with um, some of the different blur effects and use Gaussian Blur. You can also use Fastbox. Um, we can, we'll give you a slightly different look. It's actually probably a better look because it's a more gradient fall off, whereas Gaussian Blur, that's harsher. So it, it doesn't matter what kind of blur effect you pick for this. Fastbox Blur tends to be faster anyway, so it's kind of a win-win there. And then you'll start to see the fall off is gradual in where the blur continues. So go back and select your footage here and you'll have your effect and you can really ramp this up to see how that is looking. That is really cool. It's a really, really quick effect. This kind of controls, imagine if it's a real camera and you're using it and it can you can control the look of the bokeh. So these would be, you know, how the blur affects here and you'll get more of a square effect and you can really kind of art direct your scene with this tool and you can control the aspect ratio. So you can make, you know, this bokeh more of an oval shape and which you actually get with some lenses. Let's put point eight there. Let's bring this back to one. Maybe bring the blur down slightly, maybe to 12. Make this a 3D layer, rotate it. Get this very cool effect of this kind of blurred panel um, and you can kind of move this along here, which is quite cool. So super quick, super easy. Another way to use this is if you wanted to animate the position of your focal point, you could do this kind of pull focus technique. Bring this keyframe in because that will be way too long. That will be quite a cool effect here. As you move along, you'll see the blur shift. And you'll see it shift slowly, which is very cool. Um, and it just adds that bit of depth to your footage. And you can do the exact same with, you know, stills as well. It's quite handy. Let's just scale this down a little bit and bring it down there. And if we were to take our effect here, press Control C and Control V onto our image. We can scale our image maybe here. And you can see that effect really coming into play. And this is a very cool technique. It's very handy, you know, even if you're doing a 3D render and maybe you forgot to render the depth map, you know, maybe this is something you could use for one or two shots just to get that depth of field look in. I hope this tip was helpful. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe. Um, are there any tips in After Effects or looks or something you've seen out in the ether of motion graphics and film that you wondered how to do? Please comment below. Let's see if we can do it, recreate it quite quickly. This is what these quick tips are about. It's, you know, taking something that's quite popular popularized in motion graphics and just making it super simple and easy to understand to recreate. Thank you for watching and goodbye.